Squarespace for dropshipping tutorial. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Squarespace to create our own online store for dropshipping and e-commerce. It's pretty easy so let's get started. Firstly we need to visit squarespace.com and here we are on our start page. Click on get started in the right top corner. So we'll come to this page where we can find a lot of different templates here. We can filter them. So let's choose topic with online store. Of course, we have the option to create it from scratch. We can build our own template if we need. But in this case, we are going to use like templates which are uh, from Squarespace. So this one is pretty good as for clothes brand or something like this. We can also customize it. So let's choose this one to show. Of course, you can just simply try to find one is what is suitable for you. You can choose different topics. But in this video, we are working with this template. So let's click on preview to watch how does it look like. So we can switch between different devices on tablet and on like mobile phone it looks pretty good so let's click on start with this device with this design basically and now we need to create our account i'll continue with google as for me this is the most suitable variant so let's choose this account and here we are then to wait for a little and we'll come to our manage page so this is our page we can change the uh site title let it be the help per month the name of our channel continue next next and get started so this is how our like managed page looks like here we can change the navigation in pages area as you can see we have like shop lookbook about and contact it's about the menu right up here basically in this part there is a preview of our website how does it looks like on the design area we can change the design for the whole website to make it uh, more personal we can go to side styles right up here go to uh, fonts to change the uh, font pack click on switch here and here we can change the all of the fonts all of the uh, for our website basically so we can find something which is more suitable as for our shop i think this variant is pretty good so i'll just choose this one I'll click on back and side styles. Moreover, we can even change the color palette. So we can edit palette right up here. We can change from these styles. I think this one is pretty good. So let's choose this one. I think it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, we can also change the animation, spacing, buttons and image blocks. But I think it's more personal. As for me, fonts and colors are the main features we can change. So let's click on done and we'll come back to our manage page. We need to wait for a little. Basically now we are on our edit page. So here we can interact with every single block, but we'll come back to it a little bit later. Here we can manage every single section, manage every single uh, like part from here. So this is our header, for example. We can change the design, add the links and so on. This is our shop, basically, where we can manage all the items. You can also edit this section. So there are a lot of basically features. We can click on every single part and customize it. For example, let's change the name of the shop. So as you can see, we can add a lot of properties. We can make it bold, make it italic, change the color and so on. Add the link to link it maybe to our like YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, here we are in commerce uh, page. We can do a lot of stuff. Basically, the most important is that we can set up our store. We can create your store and start selling products. We can add products, payments, subscriptions and publish basically all this stuff right up here so if you'll click uh, we can change what would you uh, want to sell so here we are for example we want to sell some digital download a digital file customers can download like an ebook pdf template or audio and so on or some physical part so uh, we can also import them from Etsy. Here we are. We have like this option here. You can just simply click and connect our Etsy shop. So log in to import all Etsy products to your Squarespace site. Other the products are imported. You can edit the product name, price, quantity, description and more. So basically this is the way. And here we have all of our products which are like for, from template. But we can simply add our products like on our own so we can change every single name for, for example like 
helper one, helper two, and so on. Change the visibility here. We can change the uh, stock amount, change the price. Basically, we can change every single part here. And I think it's pretty, pretty good that we can manage all of our products all at once, all the, uh, like this here. So we can choose, for example, two of these products here. We can delete them if we like don't need, we can just simply click on delete and then just delete once more. So these products were successfully deleted. If we need to change the uh, image, for example, we can add it right up here. We can change the product name. So let's delete our image and we can add once more. So we can upload file or select it from library. So I don't want to do this. So let it be like this. So this is a way of how can we manage basically our products. We can also add some supervises, digital downloads and so on. Just simply click on add product in the right top corner, for example. And here we are on our creating digital product page. Like we can change the add the product name. Let it be like tutorial. Uh, we can add the image here add the inventory. So we need to upload the file add the price here. And add, for example, if it's like on sale or something like this. So we can add the organization information, visibility, marketing, CEO and URL. So there are a lot of stuff we can use and after that just click on save. So this is about how can we add some digital product if we need. So I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, moreover, if we'll come back home, we can also find the analytics right up here. So we can come and we'll find the analytics about our sales, revenue, units, sold orders and so on. We can find the traffic sources, for example, how many visits, bounce rate, unique visitors and so on. Also the page views. So uh, this is about how can we deal with this information, find the geography information, sales by product, perhaps uh, purchase funnel and so on, like different traffic sources, search keywords. All the information is provided right up here. So I think it's pretty cool as for the beginners that we can find all the information here. If we'll talk about the pricing plan, we'll go to subscribe area. And as you can see for the commerce uh, plans, they have like uh, $27 per month and $49 per month. And what's the biggest difference is basically they provides us a lot of different features, but the main difference is in like that advanced plan has these like advantages with abandoned cart recovery, sell subscriptions, advanced shipping, advanced discounts and commerce APIs. So these are the main differences. And this is a way basically of how can we use Squarespace for our drop shipping business. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.